Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'd love to welcome you to The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. Uh, this was released sometime last month, and I think it's either tomorrow or on the 28th that they're going to release the second episode of this supposedly five-part series of a video game. And, you know, I, I'm a little bit late to the party. You know, The Walking Dead doesn't really interest me. You would think that it being an AMC TV show that I would enjoy it because Breaking Bad and Mad Men are two of my favorite shows of all time. And they're both on AMC, but I just can't get into The Walking Dead. Apparently, this is based on the comic book, which means that it bears no similarities to the show, give or take two or three characters, I believe, even in this first episode. So... I'm hoping to make this an ongoing series, depending on how you guys like it, but I hear it's very, um, you know, conversation heavy, so let's get started on the third slot as usual. Now, I play, I have not played this before, but from my understanding, the choices you make can change kind of the style of the game and certain other things, but um, I'm just going to do this as I would, you know, really do. I know there are people out there who do like, you know, all Paragon runs or all like evil runs or whatever. This is going to be what I would genuinely do and I'm not going to try and twerk the yeah, this game adapts to the choices you make. Stories tailored how you play. I, I guess that major decisions don't make a huge role, but um, we'll just see how it goes. How you guys like it um, and hopefully hopefully this turns out alright. I might or might not upload this because, like I said, it's it's very heavy on the dialogue. And I don't know if anyone would actually be interested in that, but, you know, like I said, having this be kind of a series go on as the other episodes are released, that would be kind of, kind of neato, even though I'm a, I'm a bit late to the punch. Here we are with a new day. And so I, I played through the first, like, not even five minutes of this. I didn't even get past this sequence before I realized, you know, I gotta, I gotta show the world this if you haven't already seen it. But, I don't know, just like the graphics and the music and the, and the dialogue is just, it's just really good, in my opinion. It a lot, but hmm. But I'm gonna try not to talk over these assholes so much because that would not be very good, not good at all. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um, so this is how the game is gonna go. You have a limited amount of time to make a choice, and um, is there, yeah. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. <laughs> Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh, so, silence is also a valid option. I think X might actually give us silence as well if we don't want to wait for the timer to go off. Every time? Every time. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we can move and inspect stuff. Huh, we have a mirror. Sounds the Pearl Jam. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Okay, making. So I'm guessing he's probably from Macon then. You're from Macon then. Yeah. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. Okay. With all due respect. A real shame that is. Oh. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Okay. Still there? Sure is. Good. Ah, uh, okay, so there's a radio in here. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. <clears throat> Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Oh. I got a nephew what? up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six is, is UGA the University of Georgia, Atlanta, happens? I'm guessing? Because they, they're talking about getting out of Atlanta right now. But I'm just assuming know how I see that might not be what it is. Um... I don't want to seem like an asshole to this guy because he's being really nice for hauling me in. Sure. What? I, okay. Regardless, oh. could be you just married the wrong woman. What? So I'm guessing something happened with his wife. Yeah. <sighs> I said she married the wrong guy, but I guess he didn't say that. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Wow, some shit's going down. I'm guessing it's got to do with an outbreak of, of the, I guess, apocalyptic type. I don't know. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. 
Says he wasn't here. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Uh -huh. <laughs> he got pissed off at then that. Before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Well. I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Wow, kind of reminds me of uh, Vincent Leonoro, or whatever his name is. Still in jacket. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> they caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Wow. Hmm. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is yeah, over. Yeah, no kidding. I swear I've seen. Oh, that I got before. another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Oh my god. No! <laughs> okay, I have not played past this part. I have not even... Oh, oh man. Well, that sucks. What the hell, game? You gotta go pull a fast one on us when I'm starting to warm up to this one cop that's hauling us in. What I'm suspecting is... Some kind of treason, probably murder. I've been in a car accident once. It wasn't that bad, but it was freaking traumatic as a kid. Oh. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cut back here. I don't think here. he's okay. He's kind of in his own ragu there. All right, so there's a shotgun over there. Well, who said it might have just fallen out of the car, man? Officer? Oh, that doesn't look. Uh, can we? He wasn't ejected from the out car. Of here? Somewhere. Oh, I'm right there. I thought we were in the. It, uh, well, that seemed like I was in first person for a minute. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> kind of on. Come on, fourth chance is the charm in this game. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, move I towards. Need to drag oh. myself out that window. Yes. All right, look at the. Uh, oh, there's a hand icon. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a very context-sensitive situation. Oh, fantastic. This will complement that other game I'm doing <laughs> very nicely. Hmm. Okay, so he loves stick to move along the car. I'm, gu I'm guessing we don't have a lot of direct, you know, direct control over the entire situations around us. Looks like he's dead over there. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that. <laughs> All right, so we got the cop. Officer. We just, oh, okay. For some reason, I just want to click on it and assume that's where I'm going to go. I don't know. It just seems like something that would happen um God damn. Yeah, he's dead oh there we go i also need to just walk a little to the right let's take his keys shall we off his body okay oh great he's gonna make us do this oh, fantastic what is this heavy rain oh and i dropped it next to his mouth ah can i just assume what's gonna happen here uh, okay good i was a little afraid there not really they, they wouldn't pull a scare that early i don't think this game is really like scary per se but I don't know so let's unlock the handcuffs thank you game for not freezing there you think this being a digital game oh Officer. Didn't do that. oh my god who would have ever seen that coming oh fantastic oh shit okay go away <laughs> uh, damn it okay that's the only direction I can go oh hey well you know what I'm gonna stop you with this bullet I'll throw it at your face multiple times and we'll call it good to go for Mary Jane. Oh, we got the shotgun right next to us. I don't know how'd I miss that. You don't ever miss the shotgun. Well, I just I saw it, but come on. Don't be don't be so anxiety ridden there. Uh, can we do it? Oh, we press the A button to shoot. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Might be a drink of water time or drink a coffee more like it. 
Yeah. Okay. What's going on here? This kid's all wrapped and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? I have this? no idea. I'm guessing he's probably undead, whatever that means. What else can I look at? Oh my god, there's a thing out there. Help! Go get someone! Yeah. There's been a shooting! Oh jeez. That seems like something that'd be realistic to say to somebody after you shot someone. There's been a shooting! And I'm the perpetrator! It's like Will Smith at the end of Seven Pounds. Oh, oh my god. You know, there's been a suicide. Nah, never mind. I spoiled it. No, they said that at the beginning of the movie, don't they? I don't remember. Okay, can we get the hell out of here? Oh, come on. He just tripped right on the dead body in front of him. Run! Run as fast as you can while you're limping. Oh my god. This is kind of nerve wracking. Okay, so we cleared the fence. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep him out. Because, I don't know, there, my, I just, you know, for the most part I'm speechless at things that really, that really captivate me. This is kind of, oh my god, all of a sudden it's daylight, but, well, wow. Oh hey, it's a radio flyer. Sam the Elijah Wood and the Child Abuse. You guys have ever seen that? <laughs> Hmm. Oh wait, Elijah Wood was never the, the abused, so never mind. But still. Huh. Well, that was a close one. Uh, so we're in a backyard. It appears to be inhabited by children. Children actors. No. Anybody. I don't think anyone's there. It seems like a pretty dead end town here. Okay, so we've got a tree house no here. Ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. How would you get this there? leg the way it is? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him to not want to climb up there. But we can talk up there. Can we? Anybody up there? Hmm. If there was, I don't think they would call to you. A well, tea set. Hmm. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon. Wow. Oh, <laughs> bourbon. Help! Leave the bourbon on the shelf. And I'll drink it by myself. Darling, can't you see? I'm not satisfied. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Been having the killers on the mind lately, even though it's the middle of... Not even the middle. The end of June. I can't get Don't Shoot Me Santa stuck out of my head. Uh, with the radio flyer, nothing. What do we got down here? I'm guessing maybe... Oh, maybe we can go inside the house. I wonder if anybody's home. I don't know. Don't you think it'd be worth... Worth an ask? Oh, we got a pool. Somebody! Oh. Yell if you can hear me! I don't think that's what he was gonna say if he was talking to the pool there. Maybe I'll yeah. just go for it. Oh, too. cheeky, cheeky protagonist! What's your name again? I forgot his name already. What the fence? The fence of evil. I can't go back out there. He's like, I physically cannot go over this fence again. I used all of my physical strength to get over there the first time. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Is there anything else we can look at? Sorry, I'm kind of. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say completionist, I just want to be, this is kind of one of the reasons why I'm probably not going to do a Fallout, or, I was thinking is about doing Bioshock pretty soon. Yeah, I should just check inside the house but through the glass door before wandering I just, out into I like the being room. extremely thorough in my search. I, I want to try and not miss as much of this as possible, but as, I think it's just mostly dialogue that you'd be missing and not really so much certain sequences or other things, unless you do things differently, I hear, I'm not exactly sure. On the full specifics Hello. of it, home? but apparently, Anybody the decisions home? you make here and the people you quote unquote save will carry on in other places. Where I'm assuming that you know it'll just be not really cosmetic changes in the story. In. I just mean Don't that shoot, certain okay? people you save will just switch places with another. But don't quote me on that, because I, I just took one look at the synopsis and kind of the review of the first one, and I was like, damn, that sounds like my kind of game. Hello? <laughs> I'm not an intruder. <laughs> I'm not an intruder, but here I am, intruding on your house. <laughs> These people might need more help than I do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. What do we got over here? We got a coloring book with no you. Thank you, Telltale Games, for not doing that shit. 
just kidding. I don't really care if people put U's in their O's. And oh, we got some blood here on the ground. Jeez. Yeah, you said you got that right. Oh my God, are you kidding me? We just examined that pool of blood, and he goes and slips on it. That's really great, man. That's like the same thing with the dead body out in the forest. Jesus.